and welcome back to my channel. Starting with the primer, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. All over the lid and right under the lash line as well. I'm going to take a light cream shadow just on the middle of the lid to kind of claim that space as a lighter color. And then liberally buff in a really medium shade brown. You can barely see it, but it just kind of helps with the blending process later in. And I'm just going to blend that all over the middle crease area, basically all over. start with that shimmery copper orange color. Start with a little bit on one of my medium sized blending brushes and just start buffing that into the crease and in the inner and outer corners. And as you'll see here I would just go through a lot of blending with this look a little bit of color at a time to make everything blend together seamlessly because I do not use too many shadows. Picked up a little bit more and going in to intensify the crease in that color and you'll see that's just what the process looks like. going in with that original brush with no extra product to blend out all of the edges and blend it through the middle so that when I add that brighter color everything just kind of seams together. Popping in more of the color to define it deeper. I like a shimmery color but any kind of warm bronze, um, coppery orange color would look great for this look matte would do really well as well. And then oh look we're blending some more. Be afraid of that blending process. This is what makes the difference. I'm gonna pop a little bit of a kind of golden champagne color all over the lid. And then I'll wait for it. Oh, a little bit of a more sparkly, brighter color just in the very center. And then we're blending more. Yep, there we go. Going back in with that red color, I really packed it on the brush this time, and I'm putting it right on the, predominantly the outer corner of the crease, and then whatever's left comes into the inner corner as well and really packing it on. I mix a little bit of a deep matte brown with that just to intensify the pigment. And we're going in with a medium color matte brown liberally buffed onto the lower lash line. I'm just cleaning up under the eye a little bit with um, a massive elf, I think it's a blending brush, I don't even know, it was like a dollar. And then a little bit of a cream matte highlight on the inner corner and right on the peak of the brow bone. And as you can see, there's no particular heavy liner to this look, but I do need something to ground the look. So I'm going with the tight, with the Tarte Tight Lining Eyeliner in the brown shade and popping that right on the lower lash line. I'm also just going to pop it into the tight line itself. And then with my favorite Physicians Formula Eye Booster Liquid Eyeliner, I'm going to do a very fine line just on the top lash line, and that's just to make the false lashes blend in easier. Now, I really need to invest in some new uh, false lashes pairs because mine are definitely on their last legs, so that's okay. You gotta make it work as you can. I decided I want something a little bit smokier and darker on the bottom lash line, so I'm taking kind of a medium dark matte gray and just buffing that down there. It's a little bit messy, but I like that. I liked how the top was brighter and sparkly and the bottom was this almost grungy, messy, medium dark gray brown. Skin. I did a little bit of a light contouring with my Sephora Baked Bronzing Duo and as you can see I just go in with that product to contour the button cheekbones in the forehead and side of the nose and under the lip. And then I'll also just go in with that same product I'll swirl around in both colors and I will just buff that all over the cheeks just and the skin just to give my face a bronzy glow. blush goes. I didn't want anything to compete with the eyes, but I did want something that would complement them. So I'm going with my Cora's blush in the color Peach, which is a classic peach color. This is one of the most subtle blushes I've ever even seen or owned. 
You don't have to pack it on if you want a lot of punch, but if you're looking for something really understated, it works super well. And then I'm popping a little bit of light highlighter, my RMS Living Illuminizer, just on the top of the cheekbones, cupid's bow, top of the nose, and then the bridge of the nose as well. Those kind of, you know, typical places everyone else in the entire YouTube world pops it, and that's all good. It looks good. <laughs> as for lips, I'm using the Rimmel Clending Lasting Finish, I believe is what it's called. Lip liner in the color Tiramisu. I am lining my lips and filling them in complete with it, completely with this color. And then with the Red Apple Lipstick in the color New York, which is just a classic beige nude color. I'm popping that over the majority of the lip, focusing more in the center. And then that's the whole look. I'm just going to shake out my hair a little bit right now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I like looks like this that aren't too dramatic, but it's a little bit something different for the daytime. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out, honestly. And I really hope you are having a wonderful day and try out a look like this for yourself sometime. It was a lot of fun to try out. Alright, I will see you in my next video. Today I have a smoky eye look that is great for smaller eyes. I kept the entire look a little bit lighter so this is daytime appropriate. 